Hello everyone, welcome back to MediPlacebo. In this video, I'll be teaching you about the bony features and the attachments of the scapula. So, starting off, the scapula has two surfaces, that is the dorsal surface and the coastal surface, which is also known as the ventral surface. It has three borders, that is the medial border, the lateral border and the superior border. Apart from it, we have three angles that are the inferior angle, the glenoid angle or also known as the lateral angle and the superior angle. Also we have three processes that are the coracoid process, the acromion process and the spinous process. The spinous process is also referred as the crest of the spine. Now that you have got the basic overview of the scapula, I'll teach you about the other important features regarding scapula. Now let us take a look at the coastal surface of the scapula. The coastal surface of the scapula lies posterior to the rib cage or we can say it is facing towards the thoracic cage. Here I have presented two images for the representation of the bony landmarks in the left hand side of the image whereas the muscular attachments on the right side. On the coastal surface of the scapula there is presence of a depression known as the subscapular fossa there are also presence of 3 to 4 oblique ridges which travel from the medial border of the scapula to the lateral border of the scapula. The easiest way to determine the lateral border of the scapula is by identifying the glenoid cavity. Since it is present laterally, so the border associated with the glenoid cavity would be the lateral border. The lateral border is also known as the axillary border whereas the medial border is also known as the vertebral border since it is closer to the vertebral column. Superior to the glenoid cavity lies the supraglenoid tubercle whereas inferior to the glenoid cavity lies the infraglenoid tubercle. The axillary border is thicker as compared to that of the medial border and the superior border. So the lateral border acts as a lever for the forward and the backward movement produced by the serratus anterior muscle inserting on the medial border of the scapula. Now let us take a look at the muscle originating from the coastal region of the scapula. From the major portion of the subscapular fossa originates the subscapularis muscle and on the medial border of the coastal surface we have the insertion of the serratus anterior muscle. From the infraglenoid tubercle originate the long head of the triceps brachii. Similarly, from the supraglenoid tubercle, we have the origination of the long head of the biceps brachii. So, it is easy to remember that both the long heads of the arm are originating from the supraglenoid and the infraglenoid tubercle. From the apex of the coracoid process originates the two important muscles of the arm that are the coracobrachialis muscle and the short head of biceps brachii. And at the root of the coracoid process, we have the insertion for the pectoralis minor muscle. Now let us move towards the dorsal aspect of the scapula. The dorsal aspect of the scapula is divided into two regions by the crest of the spine in which we have the superior region that is the supraspinous fossa and the inferior region that is the infraspinous fossa. Apart from it, we have other important features that is the notch connecting both the supraspinous and the infraspinous fossa is the spinoglenoid notch which is present here and also there is presence of suprascapular notch the suprascapular notch is covered by the transverse scapular ligament which converts the suprascapular notch into a foramen or opening through this foramen traverses the suprascapular nerve and the transverse scapular vessels passes above the ligament. And apart from it, we have the general features as we have discussed earlier. The medial border, the lateral border, the inferior angle, the superior border, the glenoid angle, the acromion process, the coracoid process and the acromion process. Now let us take a look at the muscles originating and inserting on the dorsal aspect of the scapula. On the dorsal aspect of the scapula, the major muscles originating have the name similar to that of the respective regions. For example, we have the supraspinatus muscle present in the region of supraspinous fossa and we have the infraspinatus muscle originating from the region of the infraspinous fossa. 
Apart from it, we have various superficial group of back muscles inserting on the medial aspect of the scapula. For example, we have the levator scapulae muscle originating at the superior aspect of the medial border. We have the rhomboid minor muscle. Next, what we have is the rhomboid major muscle. Now, the latissimus dorsi has uncertain origin from the inferior angle of the scapula which means that it may or may not take its origin from the inferior angle of the scapula. Next what we have is the teres major muscle, the teres minor muscle and as we have discussed earlier from the infraglenoid tubercle region we have the origination of the long head of triceps brachii. At the region of the crest of spine we have the trapezius muscle originating and inserting. Highlighted in yellow are the superficial group of the back muscles. Now let us take a look at the lateral aspect of the scapula. On the lateral aspect of the scapula the glenoid angle is much more prominent. Here we have the acromion process and the coracoid process. Between the two processes lies the coracoacromial ligament which connects both the processes. Also we have the coracoclavicular ligament which originates from the coracoid process of the scapula and will insert on the clavicle. Here we have two parts for the coracoclavicular ligament that is the conoid part and the trapezoid part. Also there is presence of coracohumeral ligament which will originate again from the coracoid process and attach to the proximal end of the humerus of the arm. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. And if you want such anatomical sketches, do visit our Instagram profile at the rate Thank you.